so much vaccine headlines, yeah. and you, you're, it makes you want to like wait on the edge of your toes because yeah. you're waiting for a vaccine to take. But like, then you speak to the doctor, and they're like, "Yeah, there's not that much COVID cases." Uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it depends on where you're at, right? So but here we had a big peak before, now it's better. So that's good. Uh, but once they once people start going out to dinner and start going to bars and stuff, it can rise again. And then you start hearing cases. My family's from Illinois, so. Chicago, they're getting a lot of cases. Texas, they're getting a lot of cases. So it's always just, you know, it's a balance. You know, sometimes you're going to have more cases when people start to get closer together. The vaccines are more to basically prevent people from getting sick. Once you get the vaccine, you should be good. So as soon as the vaccine comes out, I'm definitely taking it because I don't want to get sick. And you don't think you you being in a hospital, you haven't gotten sick by now? Because I wear a mask. So mask works. Mask? You go around the hospital, everywhere, with full of exposure. Yeah, a mask will just protect mask you. Mask works. Even Wash your hands, wear a mask. That's how you not how you don't get it. Wow. Yeah. But outside, it's fine because like there's so much air. Yeah, I mean, it's not great. Like we should be wearing a mask, you know, like this. If we're talking. Yeah, but you're eating and I'm drinking. Yeah. So how are we supposed to drink and eat? You know. Yeah, you, you don't. You know, you you like. You don't. You don't drink. I'm sorry. Now, now with people. Oh, yeah. well, what about? So. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. So that's, that's basically it. That's, that's the hat. And you guys don't have a shortage on any kind of like. Not now. We did. It was really bad for a while. But now things are better. They stocked up. They got things better. So, you know. Tongue depressors, thermometers. Like, yeah, all that stuff's good. You know, the biggest thing is we didn't have the masks. And we didn't have face shields. But those masks aren't like the, the, the most full traded, like the N95s. Yeah. yeah, but you don't need those. Most, this works. This works almost as well. The N95s are better. I feel like there's a lot of holes, you know? Yeah, but the problem is that most... So if I'm doing a procedure or somewhere, a surgery, you want that full protection because that's how you you, you, you can get exposed when you're, when you're doing an operation or something. If you're talking to someone, most of the transmissions are particles, like droplets. And this protects you from most of those. You block the droplets from going out and you prevent them from being inhaled. So it, it works, you wow. know, as long as you stay fit. Now, if someone has COVID, you do want to make sure you wear the whole thing, right? But just like this, you and I, you're, I'm pretty sure you don't have COVID. Yeah. But, you know, it's still good to wear a mask just on the off chance that you might have or that I might have. You know, it sucks, man. I, I want to go out to dinner with my buddies. I want to go do stuff also. I want to go see a movie in a theater. Yeah. I'm sick of watching it on my shitty TV. Yeah, but like you, you can't go to a movie theater with a mask on. But you could go to the hospital. You work in the hospital every day with a yeah, mask on. So I, know, I feel like if you could go to the hospital, you could probably go to the movie theater. Yeah, but then you're like you're, you're there two hours next to somebody. But what if you distance? Like, what if you, you close that? off like 20 seats? So there's only 20 people in the whole theater. It's always about risk benefit, right? Like for me, the risk is worth going to the hospital because I gotta I gotta get paid, right? It's, no, the risk isn't worth going to a movie theater. I'll probably be fine, but you know the risk is still there, and the benefit is not that great. So it's always just a balance, you know, between what what you want to do and and what what, what what risk you're willing to take. And then, and then I saw on some news, uh, what was it, the Examiner, and like Trump retweeted the Examiner article with like the 99, 98.1 percent survivability rate. Yeah, that's great. I mean, there's so I feel like if we're at ninety eight point one now, and we've been exposed to it for like nine months, yeah, if we keep getting exposed to it, maybe it'll get even higher, like the survival, because yeah, we we'll, our immune systems usually grow. Yeah, no, that's true. But the problem is, like, first of all, that's like most. So most people that get the virus aren't going to die from it, right? So that, that's great. But at the same time, like, you still don't want to get the virus because you don't know what it's going to do to you. You can get pulmonary issues, lung issues, heart issues. We don't really know this virus, so if you can avoid getting it, then don't don't get it. Yeah. You know, surviving a virus is a pretty low bar. I don't want to just survive. I just don't want to get sick. Yeah. You've had the food. It just sucks. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like, I didn't go around like not going to the movie theater because I don't want to get the flu. I, yeah. I just I, I don't want to have like. This is. I don't want to. I don't want to step on. I know. I know. But you know, still, the survivability rate survivability, still looks pretty good. Yeah, but we've had two hundred twenty thousand Americans die. That's a lot. So it's a lot of people. I don't know. I just 
it sucks, and I'm with you. I think that I'm with uh, you too. That this thing is like it, it's shitty that we're all stuck with this situation. I got kids; they're not in school. Like they, they're not learning anything now. I need them to be in school. But uh, so trust them, touch. Yeah, but it's just like it's just shitty that like we can't all be doing the stuff that we normally want to do. And this should have been fixed when it first came out in February. The U.S. is the, the biggest country in the world, the most, the richest, the most advanced. We should have been able to fix this at the very beginning, but they fucked it up. Well, no one knew what it was back then. They, the, they knew, man. Even the scientists they didn't knew. know. They knew. They knew. They fucked it up. The government really dropped the ball on this, and now we're all paying the price. I mean, the, even the scientists didn't know. They knew, the, man. The, the, they were they're still learning about the virus, like yeah, a little bit, how it develops. They, they said it transmits this cloth. Like, you know, there was like all these different things yeah, coming they, out. They, they, wear they, a mask outside. Don't wear a mask they, outside. They, they, they should have been fixed back then. You know, even and even now, the scientists. Now we're here. Yeah. That's the thing that's the shitty. So, I don't know. That's the way it works. It's the way it's here. You think, uh, you think Bush or Obama would have like shut down the country like in uh, February? They probably, probably wouldn't have done anything much different. I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. I just know that the CDC really fucked it up, and now we're all stuck in the situation. Their whole job was to prevent this from happening, and they they dropped the ball on us. But you say like currently it's chill, kind of more chill yeah, than your hospital. We're we're not. You know, I had friends in New York, and back then in March, I remember hearing about the stories in New York. That was bad. People were dying left and right, and thankfully Los Angeles isn't anywhere near that. But the only way to prevent that from happening is by following the rules, you know? Because we can get to them. You know, it's only been a few people that have been exposed. Most people haven't been exposed to the virus. I was going to give you my card. I'm Zeke, by the way. Uh, how are you? What's your name? David. David. Yeah. yeah. What do you do? I work for a bag and packaging company. Uh-huh. And uh, we make the Disney store bags. Yeah. And now we help supply Disney sanitizer and magazine okay. gloves. Cool. So I'm actually in a little bit of the medical field now. Yeah. I'm actually looking for 60,000 of those thumb reader okay. uh, oxygen things. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, yeah. I don't know, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah it's good to get, like, personal insight, man. Yeah. Air, yeah, air shake. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll yeah. All right, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about your lunch. I don't know